all who are watching these videos. In this video, I am explaining the permutations and combinations and set problems and this is the video number 2. And the students who will follow these videos will definitely get very good marks in the coming MSET examination. So all of you watch the videos, make the notes, practice the sums, okay. And in the description, I am giving the link of the practice sums of the permutations and combinations. So all of you after watching the video, once open the description, see the PDF and solve those questions also. Those are also very very important. Okay, let us start the class. So this is the sum number 10. The question is, the number of ways in which 5 boys and 5 girls can be arranged in a row so that no two girls are together. Okay, the question is, the number of ways in which 5 boys and 5 girls are arranged in a row we have to arrange these 10 members in a row. We have to arrange these 10 members. What is the condition? So that no two girls are together. No two girls are together means always remember that when we have the condition no two girls together, no two boys together, no two flowers together means we leave that first. That is just leave the girls first. No two girls come together. Leave the girls. First arrange the boys only. Girls don't come together. Leave the girls. Arrange the boys only. Okay, listen. Five boys. One, two, three, four, five. We can arrange the five boys in five factorial ways. Understand? We can arrange the five boys in five factorial ways. Now, how many number of gaps we have between the boys here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Between the boys we have 6 gaps. Now we have to arrange the girls in these gaps. Number of gaps is equal to 6 here. Girls is equal to 5. Gaps is equal to 6 and girls is equal to 5. Okay. We have to arrange these 5 girls in the 6 gaps. That can be done in 6 P5 ways. Understand? A number of caps is equal to 6. Girls is equal to 5. We have to arrange the 5 girls in these caps. That can be done in 6p5 ways. Therefore, the answer is equal to 5 factorial into 6p5. That's all. This is the answer. Very, very easy questions. When we know the concept, it is very easy to tell the answer. Okay. 5 factorial into 5. So, the value of 6p5 is equal to 6 factorial. Therefore, the answer is 5 factorial into 6 factorial and that is the second option. That's all. Very easy. Next question, sum number 11. The number of ways in which 6 boys and 5 girls can sit in a row so that all the girls may be together is. Okay, listen. The number of ways of arranging 6 boys and 5 girls. We have to arrange 6 plus 5, total 11 members in a row. In a row, we have to arrange these 11 members, 6 boys and 5 girls. But what is the condition given here? All the girls may be together. All the girls may be together. And always remember that all the girls may be together, all the boys may be together, all the flowers may be together, means all the books come together, means we have to take that this total value is equal to 1. Okay. All the girls come together means we have to take that all the girls is equal to 1 unit. Therefore, total is equal to 6 boys plus 1 unit. 6 boys plus 1 unit is equal to 7. So, here we treat that this total girls is equal to 1 unit, 1 member. That is total is equal to 6 plus 1. That is 7 members. Now, we can arrange these 7 in 7 factorial ways. Understand? We can arrange these 7 in 7 factorial ways and also these 5 girls can be rearranged in 5 factorial ways. Okay, suppose here we have arranged like that B, 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 B. Suppose this is the 1 unit of the girls. Suppose I placed the 1 unit of the girls here. Okay, now I can arrange these 5 members among themselves in 5 factorial ways. Of course, 5 members are there here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can interchange the places among themselves here. That is, we can arrange the girls among themselves in 5 factorial ways. Therefore, the answer is equal to 7 factorial into 5 factorial. Always remember that all the girls come together means we have to treat all the girls as 1 unit. Understand? Then total is equal to 6 boys plus 1 is equal to 7. First, we can arrange these 7 in 7 factorial ways. But also, the 5 girls can be rearranged among themselves in 5 factorial ways. Okay, we can interchange their places among themselves. Okay. 
therefore the answer is equal to 7 factorial into 5 factorial that's all okay listen the next question the number of ways in which 10 books can be arranged in a row so the two specified books are side by side yes. okay the number of ways in which 10 books are arranged 10 books can be arranged in a row so here we have 10 books we have to arrange the 10 books in a row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 books we have to arrange the 10 books in a row like that okay what is the condition such that two specified books are side by side for example we have to take these two books the two books are side by side the two books are side by side means these two books comes together okay the two books are side by side means the two books comes together that is first we treat the two books as one unit here the condition is the two specified books are side by side means the two books come together that is first we have to take the two books as one unit understand now what are the remaining books here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 6 7 8 that is 8 plus remaining books is equal to 8 and this is one unit so 8 plus one unit is equal to 9 so we take that here total is equal to 9 9 books okay we treat these two books as one unit this is we treat this family as one unit 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 now these 9 can be arranged in 9 factorial ways okay we can rearrange these two in two factorial ways that is okay here the order is 4 comma 5 what is the second order 5 comma 4 that is we can interchange these places also in this case also the two books are side by side that is side by side means here also side by side here also side by side that is we can interchange among themselves we can rearrange so this can be done in two ways that is two factorial ways two factorial is equal to two therefore the answer is equal to nine factorial into two factorial always remember that when with when the two books come together means first we have to treat those values as one unit therefore total is equal to remaining eight plus this one is equal to nine now these nine can be arranged in nine factorial ways and the two books can be rearranged in two factorial ways therefore the answer is equal to nine factorial into two factorial that's all Next question sum number 13. M men and N women are to be seated in a row so that no two women sit together. If N greater than N, then the number of ways in which they can be arranged is equal to. They can be seated is. Okay. So given that M men and N women are to be seated in a row. Okay. Total number of persons is equal to here M plus N. M men and N women. So, we have to arrange all these members in a row. Okay. Man, woman, man, woman like that. We have to arrange all these members in a row. What is the condition? No two women sit together. No two women sit together. No two women sit together means first we have to arrange only men. Understand? First we have to take the arrangement of only men. No two women sit together means first leave the women. First leave the women. Just arrange the men only. That is... We can arrange the 1, 2, 3 here total number of men is equal to M. So, we have to arrange the M men in M factorial ways. Okay. We have to arrange the M men in a row in M factorial ways. Now, we have to arrange the girls in between the gaps of the men. Okay. How many number of gaps here we have? Since gaps here persons is equal to M means number of gaps is equal to M plus 1. Okay number of caps is equal to n plus 1 now we have to arrange the these n members in the m plus 1 caps that can be done in n plus 1 pn number of caps is equal to here m plus 1 now i am arranging the n women in the caps that can be done in m plus 1 pn therefore the answer is equal to m factorial into m plus 1 pn very very simple answers when you know the logic within seconds you can write the answer that's all and this is the last option okay listen the next question sum number 14 the number of different signals can be given by using any number of flags from the four flags from the four flags of different colors okay the question is the number of different signals can be given by using the any number of flags from four different colored flags that is here four flags are given for different colored flags are given we have to form the different signals okay so to form the different signals here we can use any number of flags so first 
I use only one flag. Okay, that is signals formed by only one flag is equal to signals formed by the only one flag is equal to four P one. That is four. Okay, and signals formed by the two flags is equal to that is taking only two flags out of the four flags. That is four P two, and four P two is equal to four into three. That is twelve. And the next one. Signals formed by the three flags is equal to that is three flags means taking three flags out of the four that is four p three four into three into two that is equals to twenty four and the last one signals formed by the four flags is equal to that is taking four out of four that is four p four and four p four is equal to four factorial that is equals to twenty four okay. So what is the answer? Therefore, the answer is equal to sixty-four. Therefore, the number of signals formed by using the four flags is equal to sixty-four. That's all, and that is the third option. Okay, next question, sum number fifteen. The number of ways can four men, three boys, two women be seated in a row so that the men and the boys and the women are not separated? Is the question is the number of ways of arranging four men three boys two women in a row okay four men here we have to arrange the four men three boys two women in a row we have to arrange all these members in a row what is the condition the men the boys the women are not separated the men are not separated the boys are not separated the two women are not separated that is First, not separated means the four men comes together, the three boys comes together, the two women comes together. Not separated means they come together. They come together means what is the condition? Come together means always we treat that members as one unit. That is here we take that four men as one unit, three boys as one unit, two women as one unit. Okay, one one one. Therefore, total is equal to three. One 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 total is equal to three. Now we can arrange these three members in three factorial ways. Okay, we can arrange these three members in three factorial. Now listen, the four men can be rearranged in four factorial ways. The three boys can be rearranged in three factorial ways. The two women can be rearranged in two factorial ways. Okay, that is the four men can be arranged among themselves. That can be done in four factorial like that. Therefore, the total answer is equal to this three factorial into four factorial into three factorial into two factorial. That's all. This is the answer. Very easy question. And the answer is equal to third option. Next question, sum number sixteen. A, B, C are three persons among the seven persons who speak at a function. Okay. The number of ways in which it can be done if A speaks before B and B speaks before C. Very very easy question. When we have the condition A speaks before B and B speaks before C, then we have the direct formula. The formula is equal to here the number of persons and is equal to seven. And the condition we are taking the condition among the three persons A, B, C. That is R is equal to three. Therefore, the formula is n p n minus r. This is the formula for solving this question. That is the answer is equal to seven p four. That's all. And finding this value, what is seven p four? Seven into six into five into four. Okay, this is equals to forty two into twenty. That is equals to eight forty. Forty two into twenty. That is equals to eight forty. That's all. And that is the third option. Very very easy question. If we have the condition A speaks before B, B speaks before C, then directly we can apply this formula N P N minus R, where N is equal to number of persons and R is equal to A B C. That is equal to three. That's all. And this is the third option. Next question, sum number seventy. Three men have four coats, five waist coats, and six caps. Then the number of ways they can wear them is equal to. So here, given that three men and number of coats is equal to four, number of ways is equal to five, number of caps is equal to six. In how many ways they can wear this? That is the question is equal to in how many ways the three men can wear this? Okay. Now wearing of four coats is equal to what is the formula? Four p three. Okay. The three persons can wear the four coats in four p three ways. Wearing of four coats and wearing of four waist coats is equal to that is 
that is five p3 pairing of the five waist cords the number of ways in which the three men can wear the five waist cords is equal to five p3 and the last one wearing of the six caps is equal to that is equal to six p3 the number of ways in which the three men can wear the six caps is equal to six p3 three men four cords four p3 three men five cords five p3 three men six caps six p3 therefore the answer is equal to four p3 into five p3 into six p3 that's all and that is the third option